everyone. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to save documents that you are working on in Word. Now, I'm going to assume in this video that you've already got your OneDrive folder set up and done the other steps that I've been walking you through. So if you haven't yet set up your OneDrive folder or you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the video that says that's called setting up your OneDrive folder because that will make your life easier first and then come back and watch this one. Okay, so let's say that you are writing a, an assignment for Mr. Amira in religion or for me in English and you're gonna do it in Word. So if you would just open a blank document, um, this is my assignment, something like that. And then you need to make sure that it saves, obviously. So what you want to do is good. do you see this auto save button up here at the top? Auto save. Click on. And then it will ask you to to save it to your uh, to your OneDrive. Or you can save it to a specific fig folder in your OneDrive. So for example, if you have um if you have different folders set up for different classes or different places you want to put it, you would just stick it there, choose location, name it something other than document one, please name it, um, I don't know, Jesus and the Gospels assignment, if it's from Mr. Amira, something so that you know what it actually is, right? Otherwise, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of document one, document two, document three, and you're going to get very confused. Then you click save. And now it's whatever you whatever you do on this on this document will save automatically because you have uploaded it to your OneDrive. Then when you're ready to email it to Mr. Amira, you could do a couple of things. You would either click the share button here and click send a copy and then email his attachment and enter his email or you could or you could do what I'll show you in the next um, in the next video which is just go into your mail app and do it that way okay but let me show you those steps again just in case you missed it if this is your assignment and you have saved it to your OneDrive by clicking the auto save on and renaming it and saving it, then you click share, send a copy, email as attachments, and then you simply type in your teacher's name. Mr. Amira should come up. Oh, not if. Uh, oh, Mr. Amir is not coming up because I'm not typing it correctly. Let's do that. Eh, yeah. So let's do my email. So Doyle and click enter. I would usually CC yourself so that, that you can see. CC means you're going to get a copy of the email and that way you have proof that you sent it and it went through. So you would type in your own email in the CC, in the CC area here. And then for your subject, you want to do your first name. Whoops, helps if I spell it right. First name, last name, so Claire Doyle's. Jesus assignment or something like that and then you always want to include a message to your teacher and you always want to start with dear 
Dear Mr. Omira. Or dear Mr. Will, because you're sending it to me. Dear Mr. Will. Here is my my work. So it can be just be really simple. And then you always want to say thank you and sign your name, Claire. And then you are set to click this paper airplane button, which is send message and send message, and your teacher will get your assignment. Okay, that's how you do that. So I hope that was helpful. And again, I can walk you through these steps in class if you would like to see them again. Um, do not worry, just ask for help.